I think Skyblock at its core is the ultimate challenge in resource management. You spawn on a tiny island in an empty universe, all you have is one block! I pixel Skyblock with only one block, on the stranded mode so I can never leave my island. My goal is to craft the aspect of the end requiring 10,240 ender pearls. I guess first off I just have to wait for this tree to grow. Will it grow if I'm standing on it? Maybe if I jump, it'll grow and launch me upwards. Oh also, Jerry has his own one block island, with a friend. Oh I'm dying! Which is a good thing. Now I can chop down the tree and create a platform for the sapling to fall on. You might have already noticed I have quite a few items. That's because this isn't really a game mode offered by Hypixel. To create it, I made a stranded profile and then manually dug up every single block on the island, which takes around 45 minutes if you were wondering. So these items are the island that I destroyed. I got a few more saplings, so I expanded the island a little with the wood I got. After chopping some more wood, I expanded the island to include large mob spawning areas. I need to kill 10,000 endermen on this island, so I better get started. The night was approaching. I had to fight off hordes of enemies. Nothing could stop the bloodshed I would cause. Get wrecked! I am the king of the one block island that has very quickly become over 100 blocks of island. I currently have two cobblestone minions, the trees will get me oak minions, and I need to kill 80 of every mob to get their minions. So more killing montages are coming. Ah fine, here's one now. My main focus for now is the wood minions though, because I heard from the great David Attenborough on a nature documentary that trees is good. I'll use the bones I got from killing skeletons to create bone meal. This will make the trees go faster, but it means the skeleton minion will take longer to make. But it's worth it, because wood is amazing. If it wasn't, then why do termites find it so delicious? Checkmate steel, you inferior construction material! Where was I? Oh, I finally got enough for the wood minion, and he has his little own corner of the void. Constantly scared he's going to fall off. Zombies rarely drop coal. I've managed to get three, so I can now place torches all over my island. Now I have a specific part of my island dedicated to monster killing, although I swear where they've gotten stronger. They seem to have more health than they used to. Hmm, they are now level 4 and my combat is level 4. Now level 5. They get stronger as I get stronger. That seems fair, but it's super annoying. Since I need to kill about 1500 mobs to get the minions, and they'll keep getting tougher as I level up from killing them, so I need a better weapon. I tried emotional torture. Spider? More like Bider. Your mother never loved you, Spider. Alas, spiders have no conscience. They are pure evil and cannot be harmed by words. So I tried to make a bow three different ways before remembering. Then I realized I have no flint to make arrows. Whatever, I'm done with all this violence anyway. It's time to start my fishing career. I need 50 raw fish for a fishing minion, but I only have one water block. It's super important that I keep care of this and never lose it. My first catch is coming. It's gonna be a blue whale for sure. I missed it. This time for sure. Hell yeah, it's a blue whale! Figurine. There isn't much other entertainment on this island though. I need some human connection, some friends. I found this island NPCs button in my menu, and there's a bunch of people you can unlock and have join your island. We can build a family. First is Eyepatch McBadass. I didn't want the first person on the island to be cooler than me, but he sells me swords that deal more damage to the ever strengthening mobs. I also got Eyepatch McJerry, and while I'm killing mobs, those two talk to each other. What do you call a skyblock update that adds glasses? An eye patch. Eye. Eye. It's unbearable. I managed to fish up a squid which has 2,000 health, so that took an effort to kill. What do you call a fish you caught through the eyeball? An eye catch. Shut the fuck! I fish up a sea walker who has less health but also the ability to kill me. Luckily, humans are invincible for three seconds after respawning. Remember that for your biology test. Then I fished up Aquaman. The figurine. I started burning wood into charcoal to make a coal minion. And then nothing interesting happened for the next 20 minutes so we can skip straight to me making the minion. Coal can speed up every other minion, making it extremely useful. I put it next to Eyepatch McJerry to keep good company. Ay, 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 ay. And we have a new family member, Eyepatchless McExtortion. She says I need armor to survive, then charges me 5,000 coins for it. You lose coins when you die, so the only things of value I have are my figurines. But when I offered them, she complained of water damage. I have heard a rumor that when creepers blow up stone, it turns into gravel. If I can get gravel, I can get flint and then arrows. Well, if it worked, it fell into the void. Attempt 2. To make the creeper angry, I insulted him. Hey creeper, I heard your mother doesn't love you. Well, at least creepers have consciences. The things I do for science. Nope, it's just cobblestone steel. I did some more fishing in my singular water source that I cannot lose or I'm screwed. Probably 1 20th of the way of being done fishing for the clay minion. I've reached a high enough combat level that spiders now fly. Though they fly off the edge, <laughs> Oh god, it came back! After more research, I have a new theory. Creepers will only turn 
turn clean stone into gravel, not cobblestone. So I fired up some stone in the furnace and got to work on my new scientific experiment. Patient one, we are ready for you. Wait, no, not yet. We aren't ready for that. Damn it. I killed another squid and waited for nightfall. Patient two, I heard that your mother loved you very much and gave you lots of attention, so much that she forgot to look after herself and missed out on life. It's your fault. I think that's it. Gravel. Hell yeah. I fished up a sea guardian that killed me literally more times than the number of subscribers I have. Let's change. Then I fished up Iron Man. Not sure what he's doing in there. I'm making a section for my skeleton minion and my enderman minion. Hidden away in a cage. I got enough wood to make chests for my minions so they can work for a longer time while I'm away. It's looking great. I'm going to fish before night where I'll get both minions. So I moved my fishing rod, then scrolled over to it and fished. Over the past seven days, I've done a lot of crying and a lot of research. I have a plan to get the water back. Trap a zombie villager and a witch. The witch splashes a weakness potion onto the zombie, then feed it a golden apple. It will then turn into a regular villager. Villagers have a 1 in 45 chance of offering the desert island trade. The desert island has water on it. Sounds simple enough, but I need golden apples and I have no gold. But what I do have is lava and I can do lava fishing. I can't get the same drops as water fishing, but I can get magma cream. If I get a thousand into magma cream, I can turn my island into a hell biome, which will spawn zombie pigmen who drop gold. So the plan is a thousand magma cream, pigmen, gold, cure zombie villager, desert island, water. After a few minutes of fishing, I got coins, netherrack, blaze powder, and three magma cream. That's only 997 to go. I might need a better plan. More crying and research later, I came up with an insane idea. But to pull it off, I need to get down there, 70 blocks lower than I am. I need to build a huge platform near the void to get slimes to spawn. Usually, you would use water to fall slowly and place blocks since I have no water I have to do something a little more dangerous I'm going to jump off the edge and try to place blocks as I fall there we go I got some now I can respawn get onto the ledge and do it again and again and again come on I trained years for this I skydived over 300 times on PlayStation it's all for a block of water My staircase is getting longer. I can smell the abyss. It beckons to me. God damn it! Ah, trick shot! I'm one block away from completing it. Yes! After my epic journey into the abyss, I built a large platform for slimes to spawn on. And that is the first half of the first step to getting back my water. See, if I kill a slime, it drops a slime ball. If I jump off the edge, I die. If I pour lava on a slime, it turns into a magma cube. If I kill a magma cube, it drops magma cream. I built this entire thing just to avoid fishing, to get water so that I can fish. And so I spent an exorbitant amount of time killing magma cubes until I got 80 magma cream, which I used to craft a magma cube minion who can finish getting the other 920 while I go to sleep. I'm 80% sure it won't escape and burn down the island. When I woke up, I collected from my magma cube minion then a few more times throughout the day. Here is the moment I've been waiting for. I told Jerry to change our world to a hell biome, then zombie pigmen should start spawning on the platform so I can kill them to gather gold. I don't know if I'm strong enough to 1v1 pigmen though. Wait, was that a guard? <laughs> I guess I should have expected this. I did not expect this. Why did I think they would only spawn on the platform? The dehydration is getting to my head. There are blazes everywhere burning down my island. At least pigmen are spawning. I killed them to unlock the golden redstone collection. But since my plan is to get golden apples, I need a gold minion. Requiring 80 gold ingots, so around 200 pigmen. But I die every few seconds by the blazes and fire. Jerry, get us back to the regular biome, filled with zombies and flying spiders. It was safer there. I sold the excess magma cream to buy a stronger axe and some armor and then I went back to hell. I don't have much to say about it other than I farmed in fire for a very, 
very long time. But it was all for this moment, a gold minion. I am now finally halfway to getting a single block of water, what every player starts with. The pigmen also dropped enough redstone for me to make a redstone minion. Now time for the hard part. After putting out the fire, I had to wait until night and trap a zombie villager with a witch. I've spotted a villager at the back, I just have to carefully bridge over to him. I tried trapping him in blocks and he hit me off. I tried again and found that this zombie is the world's greatest escape room player. He can get out of anything. He jumped off the edge to his own death to avoid being trapped. But I found a witch and they walk right into being trapped, no questions asked. I eventually managed to trap a zombie villager in this giant cage, now I just have to let the two meet each other. Come on witch, if you follow me, I won't let Scooby Doo rip your face off. After convincing her with kind words and kinder shoves in the back, I had her trapped in the building with a villager. Wait, no, no, get down from there. Damn it! I was so mad that I killed everyone in sight, I even killed a zombie villager. That was the stupidest thing I've done. Wait, no, no, getting rid of the water was the stupidest thing. I managed to get another witch, but then I got a second witch and they started fighting each other, so I had to kill one. And as I led the surviving one over, it fell through the floor. What the fu- I don't swear, but what? After three more nights, I have trapped a zombie villager and a witch in the same room. The conversion ritual is beginning. Eat up, buttercup. I left for a few minutes and came back. Ah, it's a villager. I finally got one. Can I see your wares, sir? Is that? That's the desert island. The one in 45 chance, the trade that has water on it. Sadly, it costs 25 emeralds, and to get emeralds, he wants 24 blaze rods. I don't feel like setting my world on fire a third time. So I'll keep getting new villagers until one has a reasonable trade. Then one of the villagers killed my witch. I'm scared of this villager falling through the floor, so I'm putting in a second layer to keep him safe. He is my only chance to get water back. Okay, three villagers captured. Wait, who is this guy? He's the one I trapped with the double floors. How did you escape? They literally teleport through walls. So Sir, get away from the edge. Now I can go back to work, getting a villager that has a decent emerald trade. I spent the next Minecraft week curing villagers until I got one that traded for redstone, an item I can actually produce. Four emeralds. I'm only 21 away from being able to fish again. And he escaped again. Harry Houdini has nothing on this villager. I built a cage, then he jumped out and ran over to the edge. What are you? He can be a free range villager. I won't hold him captive any longer. Just please don't jump off. Now that I have six villagers, iron golems start spawning to protect me from- Wait, what? Did it just kill me? Oh good, the iron golems are aggressive. Maybe they're just thirsty. Get wrecked. Iron ingot unlocked. I made more redstone minions and waited. And here it is, my final redstone for emerald trade. I'll take one desert island. This has been quite a journey. In my pursuit for water, I died 742 times. Water! Yes! I'd like to thank nobody. I did this all on my own and deserve all the credit. So this is how you're supposed to build downwards. I think my way is pretty good though.